Hi, and welcome to NetTuts. In today's video quick tip, we will continue on working with HTML5 elements. So about a week ago, I had a quick tip on working with HTML5 audio, and a few of you asked me what the comparable methods for working with video are. So that's what we will take a look at today over the next few minutes. So much like audio, uh, WebKit and Gecko, they don't quite get along. Uh, Safari and Chrome will want to see a MP4 file for videos, while something like Firefox will want an OGG format. So if you, you will work with HTML5 video, you need to make sure that you add both versions, as well as a flash fallback for IE or older versions of Firefox and Safari. So we will load a video element. Uh, we will add source. We could do it as an attribute, but instead we will load it as a child since we will be loading multiple uh, files. So we'll begin by loading uh, the Firefox version, and these are just two uh, generic videos that I had lying around. I don't even know if they're the same file, but of course in your project, of course they would be. Uh, so we're going to load video.ogg and the type. We will make sure that we specify it as video slash ogg. Now, if Safari comes across that, it's not going to understand that format, and it's going to skip it and try to load the next file, in which case we load MP4, which would ideally be the MP4 version of our video. So if I save it as it is, and I come and load the page, you're going to get the file, but we don't. it doesn't autoplay, it doesn't do anything. So we can add that as a property, autoplay, and now it automatically does that but it would probably be better to give the user the option to play it when they want, right? So we'll go ahead and add the controls on. And now we have the ability to play it. We can scrub it really quickly, just really nice stuff there. Now if we go into Safari, we have the same option. Let's refresh the page. Uh, now this is a different file. It looks like it's one of the CodeIgniter files. It automatically grabs the width and height, and here's Safari's implementation of HTML5 video. No flash here. Now we have the option of specifying a width, of course, so let's set it to 200. Come back, refresh the page, and it'll set it to the height, and automatically to the height, I'm sorry, like so. Okay, so let's change that to 500, but now we have the problem of, let's say we only want to give HTML5 to Firefox users. Everyone else, we will load a flash file as a fallback. Let's see if that works. So here's just some file from one of our blip videos, so I'll load that, and we'll get rid of the uh, that file. So in Firefox, it's, it recognizes the video element, so it will load that. In Safari, we would expect it to load Flash, right? But it still loads the player with no file. How come? The reason is because Flash 4 understands the video element, so it wants to load a file, but we haven't provided any file to it. So it's simply empty. So if you will take advantage of this, you have to make sure that you compensate for both browsers, unfortunately. So now I'm going to load that back in, and it's going to load that file accordingly. So that will load the MP4. Firefox will load the OGG. And browsers that don't understand the video element at all will load this. Or you could add something like your browser doesn't support Firefox, or doesn't support HTML5 video. So if we check this and we go into uh, IE, you can see that it is loading the flash file that we served it, and of course, uh, you can serve it, you can use a Swift object, or you can just add the width and height right there. So this is a nice way. You just have to make sure that when you record a video or you convert a video, you convert it to MP4, OGG, and the flash fallback. Now the last thing I want to go over is that the worst thing right now is full screen support. Firefox, just in version 3.6, added an option for full screen. However, Safari and Chrome have not. And the reason is because they don't necessarily want to give developers the ability to automatically load a video full screen when a person loads the page. It could be a security risk. So we can talk more in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jeffrey Way. Bye.